There's not much worse than doing everything right to keep your succulents healthy, only to find out you have a bug infestation, mealybugs. Mealybugs are one of the most common infestations that succulents get. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get rid of them with a really simple, easy to use method. Mealybugs tend to show up when your succulents are weak. Usually this is from overwatering or over fertilizing, but it can also just be that they came in with your newest plant purchase. Anytime you get new succulents, make sure you keep them away from your old succulents for a little while to make sure that there aren't any mealybugs. Mealybugs are kind of fuzzy and white and they almost look like little cobwebs within the leaves of your succulents. If you notice mealybugs on any of your succulents, you wanna isolate them from all of your other succulents and plants right away. Mealybugs are like a plague and they spread so quickly. The first signs you might notice of mealybugs, aside from seeing the bugs themselves, is misshapen growth in the new growth of your succulent. So as you look at the top of your succulent, particularly on an echeveria or something with a really rosette shape, you'll notice that the leaves start to get misshapen, they don't grow as quickly, and a lot of times that is from mealybug damage. While many pesticides will kill mealybugs, one of the best and cheapest solutions that I've found is 70% isopropyl alcohol. The great thing about isopropyl alcohol is it's really easy to find. Your local pharmacy or even grocery store should carry it. The other thing that I like about isopropyl alcohol is I know exactly what's in it. With a lot of other pesticides, they have a variety of chemicals in them, and I don't really know what they'll do if they get on my skin. However, with isopropyl alcohol, I know that it's not gonna irritate my skin, it's not gonna leave a residue or any sort of fumes after a few minutes that would irritate my skin, my eyes, or be problematic for my children. Obviously, it's still poisonous if you ingest it, so you do still need to be careful. There are a lot of suggestions for how to apply the alcohol to kill the mealybugs, but the best solution that I've found is to put it in a spray bottle. Then you simply spray the alcohol on top of your succulents, also, be sure to spray in between the leaves to catch any mealybugs that are hiding in between the leaves. And if you have a really bad infestation, you may want to also pour alcohol over the soil to kill any eggs that the mealybugs have left. Spraying your succulents with alcohol is a really safe and effective way to treat for mealybugs. The alcohol penetrates that sticky barrier that the mealybugs have and kills them almost instantly. But the great thing is the alcohol evaporates quickly, leaving just water on your succulents. You'll wanna let them dry out for a few days after you've applied the alcohol treatment so that they don't get too much water. It's also a good idea to keep your succulents out of direct sunlight after you've treated with the alcohol because it can cause some burning. If your succulents are outside and in the ground or just can't be moved, you may wanna leave shade cloth on them for a day or two to keep them extra safe and prevent that potential burn. As I mentioned in the beginning, there are other pesticides and ways to treat for mealybugs. However, the isopropyl alcohol method is one that has worked extremely well for me and it's also cheap and easy to find. I would love to know what's worked for you in treating your succulents with mealybugs. Leave a comment below and let me know what you've done. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with all your succulent loving friends. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.